There it is, folks. It's happened. I was just informed of an early touchdown. It so happened. Now, the InSight Mars Explorer, this little robot thingy, was sent up into outer space merely as an experiment to see what would happen. And, well, it happened. The InSight object, this item, has officially landed on Mars. It's officially landed. Hello, Attack on Pony Productions. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Hello, Wendy, sending lots of love. As I was saying, folks, it's happened. The InSight landing has happened. Hello, Super Steezy. Sending lots of love. Hello, Mark1234. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you all so much for tuning in and dropping out. It's official, as you can see from the happy faces all around here at NASA. The InSight Romer object has officially landed on Mars. This is extraordinary, folks. Hello, Blair Murdoch. Thank you for watching. This is it. It has all gone according to plan, and we have a successful landing. Here they are, just watching playback. It was an early touchdown, folks. An early touchdown here. And everyone is so happy. Hugs and kisses all around as NASA has successfully landed the InSight on Mars. I love you so much, Wendy. Stop it. Folks, this is science at its best. Now, I want you... <laughs> Is this real life or is this just fantasy? Folks, it is real life. We've done it. And now we'll be able to roam Mars. The um, object entered heat shield first through the Martian atmosphere and landed on Mars. Thank you, Blair. There's only one Blair Murdoch, folks. Now check it out. Look at this. Unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. And that's the first image from the InSight object that you see right there. This is extraordinary, folks. It's a new era in space exploration. And what initially started out as just an experiment to see what would happen has turned into a large success for NASA. We've done it. This is the first official Official, official, USA created module system to go explore Mars. And scientists and astronauts are predicting that life on Mars, us inhabiting Mars, could completely be possible sometime in the 2030s. It does look like freckles. Oh, Rex, it's so cray-cray, let me tell you. Look at these freckles. This is it. That's the Mars surface on which the InSight Explorer has landed. And everyone is just ecstatic at NASA. I like having oxygen too, Super Steezy. Let me tell you something. If we inhabit Mars in the 2030s, what does that mean? We're gonna set up and colonize large sectors encased in fiberglass that allow for oxygen systems. I mean, the good news is it does seem as though perhaps we can start plant life on this planet. We'll see. Underground. Well, I don't know. You see, I don't know. <laughs> That's right, Kaiser. Kaiser Schnitzel. Honey badgers could absolutely survive on Mars because they don't care. Honey badgers will live anywhere. Honey badger goes right up to a Martian and just takes what it wants. Matt Damon has to eat his poo. It's true. I mean, what would happen? What, would, what does this mean? 
the InSight successfully lands on Mars. Unreal. All these folks are so happy. As I was saying, it was a very quick touchdown. Way, way quicker and faster than we had all expected. There were about seven minutes of touch and go where we didn't know what was going to happen. So this is really extraordinary. It is pretty darn cool. It is, absolutely. This is really extraordinary. And you got to give it up to science and space exploration for making this happen. Uh, InSight is a robotic lander and it was designed to study the interior of planet Mars. And this was launched back on May 5th of this year. Pretty extraordinary. Let me tell you something. This, thank goodness it landed on flat ground. Exactly, that's, that's the whole thing. So there were seven minutes of scare time when they were trying to land this thing because they thought it was gonna land and get smashed. But fortunately it was able to land on a patch of freckles. Um, I gotta tell you folks, hey, what's up great outdoors? Thank you so much for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. Honey badgers everywhere are going nuts because I wouldn't be surprised if honey badgers get a rocket ship and go to Mars. Sending lots of love to Great Outdoors, Wendy, Steezy, everyone out there who's watching. Blair, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube has been cray cray lately. Look at this guy. Yeah, we did it, stupid. Um, so this robotic uh, thingamajiggy that was launched traveled three over 300 million miles. Can you imagine that? Over 300 million miles and is now safely on Mars. Hey, can you believe we did it? Yes, yes, we sure did, didn't we? Oh, hey, what have you got there for me? Oh, I just have some numbers here on the computer. Oh, thank you so much. Look at all these people. I love you, Wendy, sending lots of love. I really wanna thank all of you for tuning in. This is pretty extraordinary. This is a remarkable day for science. Look at these two shaking hands. Everyone's just so ecstatic. This is a really big deal, folks. Let me tell you something. If the scientific community is saying that by the 20th, uh oh, uh, hey, don't take his mic off. Why did you send in Bruce to take his mic? Anyways, um, so, what this means is a lot of folks are saying that by the 2030s, we'll be able to perhaps colonize and live on, the, on Mars, live on Mars. Sing a Christmas honey badger, cheerio. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but on this InSight droid, it's delightful. So if you have no place to go, let it snow on Mars, let it snow. Look at this. Outer space is so much fun. Oh, let us snow, let us snow around the world. Look, that's what this guy's saying. Yeah, you know, snow is so great. The holidays are fast approaching. We have, I think, four days now until the first of December. Crazy. It's such good times. Well, folks, that's it. It was an early landing. It was very successful. And now I'll let you all get back to what you were doing. Um, just so you all know, uh, those who are tuning in right now, we are expecting to uh, produce a new video tomorrow. A new video coming out tomorrow about the kangaroo, because we love kangaroos. Thank you all so much for watching. Yay, Mars! Go, Mars! What a terrific day for science and space exploration. I love you all so much. I love you, Blair. Mars snow. It sounds like a snack. <laughs> Get you, Mars snow. 
Yes, I love kangaroos too. You too, Wendy. I'll see you again soon, trust me. The holidays are coming up and I'm so excited. Hanukkah starts on December 3rd, everybody. Oh, it's okay, Archangel. I love you so much and you'll be able to watch it. It's, I'm so sorry, Archangel, you know, it landed early. Thank you all so much. Watch out for the kangaroos tomorrow because kangaroos don't care. They have marsupials.